Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Dyer delivers 20th TBM 960, Army Ground Chinook Honeywell solves the case, try, try again, NASA targets 9-3 for next Artemis 1 launch attempt. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited, I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Dyer delivers 20th TBM 960. Dyer's newest version of the TBM family, the TBM 960, has been a popular addition to the fold. The TBM has proven a fast seller at home and abroad. The lucky recipient of aircraft number 20 was Johnny Weems, a South Florida businessman. This plane will be his fourth TBM, no small feat for any model in the competitive business turboprop market. The winning formula, he says, is the single pilot capability of the Dyer aircraft. Weems said the TBM's complement of assistive technology allows a higher level of comfort and safety. After delivery at Dyer's aircraft division in Tarbes, France, Weems backed up his assertion by kicking off his ownership experience the old-fashioned way with a ferry flight back home. The 960 comes with the new Pratt & Whitney Canada PT-60-66XT and Hartzell's 5-blade Raptor composite prop linked to dual-channel digital control. The PT-6 spins up nice and easy with single switch activation with the power lever used as an e-throttle to optimize power plant performance throughout the flight envelope. At Dyer's recommended cruise speed of 308 knots, fuel consumption is an estimated 57 gallons per hour, a 10% savings over the maximum cruise. And after the break, Air France pilot suspended after in-flight brawl. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding, we are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth-enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Air France pilot suspended after in-flight brawl. Two Air France pilots have been suspended in the wake of an in-flight brawl that saw them square off across the cockpit of an A320 during a June 2022 flight. The fisticuffs reportedly ensued after the first officer's refusal to comply with instructions issued by the captain. Exercising command privilege, subject captain allegedly took hold of the first officer's shirt collar and slapped him a time or two. The dispute erupted shortly after takeoff and was broken up by cabin crew members, one of whom remained in the cockpit until the end of the flight. ASA announces sixth edition of Intro Pilot Training Book. ASA announced the publication of the updated version of the Pilot's Manual Ground School with the 6th edition of the long-standing text. Aviation Supplies and Academics released an improved version of the book for all pilot training curricula, with particular attention paid to its suitability for use within the company's Part 141 Private Pilot Kit. This edition includes all the required know-how tested in the course of a private and commercial pilot certificate. Northrop Grumman continues B2 Modernization Efforts. Northrop Grumman called attention to their successful modernization efforts on the B-2 Spirit Bomber, pointing to a trio of recent developments aimed at extending the aircraft service life. First, they announced the successful test of the newest iteration of its joint air-to-surface standoff missile extended range, an air-to-ground missile that allows the low-observable B-2 to exploit its greatest asset from an even greater distance than previous munitions. Lufthansa Group receives first 787 Dreamliner. 
Boeing and the Lufthansa Group are celebrating the delivery of the first 787 Dreamliner, a 787-9, to Europe's largest airline group at Payne Field, Everett, Washington. The Lufthansa Group has 32 firm orders for the 787 and joins nearly 50 customers worldwide in operating the airframe. Using 25% less fuel and creating 25% fewer emissions than the airplanes they replace, Boeing brags that the 787 family has avoided more than 125 billion pounds of carbon emissions since entering service in 2011. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Army Ground Chinook, Honeywell solves the case. The Army issued a surprising grounding order earlier this week, halting flight operations for more than 400 Chinook helicopters over an issue that could lead to engine fires. In a statement, Cynthia Smith said the Army encountered an unspecified number of fuel leaks that led to engine fires, leading to the fleet being held on pause until the issue could be diagnosed. No injuries were reported, and some reports placed the number of problem aircraft around 70 helicopters in total. Honeywell, probably eager to correct the record and clear itself of any fault after 60 years of Chinook support, was able to track down the source of the problem soon after the order was given. The manufacturer, sure that the problem was out of the norm for the long-standing and generally reliable T-55 engine, began a joint investigation with the U.S. Army to get to the bottom of things. The result? That some engines had been overhauled and refurbished with O-rings outside of Honeywell specification, while under maintenance by Army Depot personnel. The suspect O-rings have been identified and isolated to minimize the possibility of installation, with all relatively pleased that they could restore the T-55's good name. And after these messages, NASA schedules Artemis 1 launch. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Try, try again. NASA targets September 3rd for next Artemis 1 launch attempt. NASA will target Saturday, September 3rd at 1417 EDT, the beginning of a two-hour window, for the launch of Artemis 1, the first integrated test of NASA's Orion spacecraft, Space Launch System rocket, and the ground systems at the agency's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Mission managers met Tuesday to discuss data and develop a forward plan to address issues that arose during an August 29th launch attempt for the flight test. During that launch attempt, teams were not able to chill down the four RS-25 engines to approximately minus 420 degrees Fahrenheit, with engine 3 showing higher temperatures than the other engines. Teams also saw a hydrogen leak on a component of the tail service mast umbilical quick disconnect, called the purge can, and managed the leak by manually adjusting propellant flow rates. In the coming days, teams will modify and practice propellant loading procedures to follow a procedure similar to what was successfully performed during the green run at NASA's Stennis Space Center in Mississippi. The updated procedures would perform the chill-down test of the engines, also called the kickstart bleed test, about 30 to 45 minutes earlier in the countdown during the liquid hydrogen fast fill liquid phase for the core stage. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.